Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss about how you can integrate Google Sheets with Salesforce. That is, you can retrieve the data from Salesforce and put them on your Google Sheets by integrating both of them. So let's begin. It's a very simple steps and it can be easily achieved. So basically visualizing your data into Google Sheets by integrating both of them, we are going to achieve in this video. First of all, suppose let's take a scenario as usual. There are a list of leads here in my Salesforce org and I want to see those records into my Excel sheet where, where I can save and share with other people at the same time without actually logging into Salesforce every time just to get the data from it. Cool. So let's begin. First of all, open Google Sheets from your browser and then under extensions, you can see there is a button called add-ons click on get add-ons here it will give you the option to install those connectors basically it's a third party system since salesforce is a third party system for google so you have to have an intermediate connector which can connect both of them so let's search for salesforce connector this is one of the free tool which is available to integrate both these tools basically okay let's install this connector salesforce connector continue it will ask for some permissions with which account you want to connect with the, your which google account you want to connect with salesforce later on it will ask which salesforce account you want to connect it with okay it has been installed now now what we will do is we'll just give one refresh and if you just go to extensions again that salesforce connector will appear over here right at the bottom of the options drop downs let's click on open and there will be a site panel which will pop up after you click on that button then there will be option to authorize your salesforce or whether it's a sandbox or production that you can authorize let's take production or since this is a developer edition or that i'm going to authorize it with let's click on authorize button and you have to log in once give the permissions and you are free to uh, extract all records from the salesforce org first since i'm already logged in into my salesforce org in the same browser it just asked with a permission and it has already taken the authentication from the cookies as i'm already logged in here in the same browser so i did not have to log in again so you can see these are the many options that you get and you can directly perform operations from here into salesforce you can import data you can update the salesforce data and you can delete as well you can make a manual refresh suppose you created one record directly from google sheet to salesforce and you want to see that over here but instead of clicking on refresh button you can perform that refresh from here directly okay so first of all we'll do the basic operation which is importing data from salesforce let's click on import and we'll import that and put over in this sheet so it will ask which object you want to fetch the records from let's select lead maybe lead would be the better option yes here it is click on next next it will ask which all fields you want to fetch under lead object so let's select city then name let's select full name id of course lead id and uh, phone yeah these many fields then it will ask for the filter if there is any filter you want to apply specific records you want to fetch let's not apply any filter as of now and even in the bottom part it will ask how what is the maximum limit of rows that you want to fetch you can provide the limit as let's see we want only first 100 records to be fetched without any filter and these many fields should be extracted from salesforce or let's click on get data and it will ask whether you want to replace the existing data if you have any on the sheet let's replace it and it is actually getting the record see it has fetched the city name of the lead id and phone 
it is in the alphabetical order so that's why the columns are arranged in that way cool and now i will show you there is another option that if you want to formulate your query socal query you don't want to just go through this ui select records and what all you want to do you can directly click on this socal editor and you can frame your own socal query if you're a developer you will definitely prefer this option select id comma name comma city from lead limit 100 see i don't have to go through each and every screen just to give my inputs i will directly write the query over here and execute the data has been replaced you see we fetched id name and city 